Am I the scumbag for not wanting my dad to walk me down the aisle because he's in a wheelchair? About three years ago, my dad was injured in a really bad hit and run car accident. He broke just about every bone in his body and left him paralyzed from the waist down. Our relationship has always been really good, but I hate seeing him in pain and admittedly try to avoid seeing him just because it makes me uncomfortable. In November, I'm getting married. I've been with my fiance for four years and he and my dad get along really well. Naturally, the discussion of who was going to give me away came up in the family group chat and I kept silent after I realized my dad would be in a wheelchair. We always talked about him giving me away and having a dance at my wedding and I don't want to be reminded of what could have been at my wedding. I messaged my mom privately and told her I want my uncle to walk me down the aisle as we're incredibly close. She naturally asked why and I told her that my dad being in a wheelchair would add complications to the wedding. The walkway would have to be widened to accommodate his wheelchair and he wouldn't be able to hold my arm or give me a proper hug. She was outraged, called me an ableist piece of garbage, and removed me from the group chat. My aunt since called me telling me my dad is absolutely devastated. Am I the scumbag? Update. I appreciate all the people who have messaged me offering me support. Your kind words have meant a lot to me, while rifling through a bunch of messages, telling me to do horrible things to myself. Regardless of what you think of me, telling me these things isn't okay. I'm going to call my dad tomorrow. Update 2. Can people please stop messaging me horrendous stuff? Think about what you're saying. You may not agree with me or my life, but you're just as bad as I apparently. If you're going around saying stuff like that to strangers on the internet. Update 3. Not that I owe it to anyone, but I thought I'd give you an update. My boyfriend and I have decided to part ways, and I've apologized to my dad.